Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on February 12th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past two days, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide. No major solar flares to report, but we do have some plasma filaments to watch in the outgoing position. Lifting, destabilizing. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting into view, we have an active sunspot region, which has been firing away a few solar flares on the backside of our sun and is now getting ready for an Earth-facing party. Looking at outgoing here, large plasma filaments looping, erecting from the surface. Three hundred and four angstroms, just amazing images here. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last forty-eight hours of events and active regions, and of course, the coronal holes, which increased our solar winds, accelerated up and over five hundred kilometers per second. And those are the coronal holes there. No new coronal holes turning in, just some very large and active sunspot regions and as well notable equatorial region earth facing right now is a very fast forming sunspot region and it is red and primed ready to go amazing images here of all the sunspot regions magnetic fields in action looking at 171 angstroms and then here's a look at sunspot regions in motion. Watching the center disk. Watch that little red spot form quickly and quickly jet apart from each other. 39 and 92 sunspot region is primed and ready to go. So stay tuned, stay aware, prepared, and stay notified here with daily events worldwide. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in right now at 459 kilometers per second. So down a little bit from yesterday. Solar X-ray flux reporting moderate C-class solar flare today, other than the minor M-class yesterday and a couple C-class. Solar proton flux is static but low. And geomagnetic activity sink at a KP3 sustained now for the last couple of days, thanks to our coronal hole wind stream, which is visible here. Space Weather Prediction Center is showing the coronal hole wind stream and as well coronal mass ejections. As we are not expecting any impacts over the next 48 hours. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from cresting into view sunspot regions. Mercury on the backside, finishing up its retrograde. Little yellow circle there is Earth. And then here's a look at our sun for the past 48 hours, showing all of its cosmic energies and coronal mass ejections. Nice purple color. For a good friend, it's her birthday today. So happy birthday, Kelly. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel and community. Carrying on here, tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's slight likelihood of Aurora for tonight, but will not be clear for eastern parts of Canada, western maybe. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours as you look. Lots of elevated rings. That means some deep earthquakes have occurred overnight. 631 kilometer depth, actually. That's a very deep earthquake for the Fiji region. And as well, 588 kilometer depth and a 612. So three very deep earthquakes, Fiji region, expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow very shortly. Argentina, deep earthquake there. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours being a 5.3 South Sandwich Islands, notable earthquakes here. Cocos Plate into the Caribbean still. Colombia with a 4.8 and a 4.8 here. Honduras reported today. 
all of a sudden has gone quiet. Puerto Rico. And then we get to the North American plate. And this morning started off with a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. Petrolia, California. USGS is reporting 248 earthquakes the past 24 hours. And there's been a quite a seismic increase around the California basin. Minor seismicity as well as central regions of United States, Kansas reporting a 2.6. And then overlooking California, minor seismicity has been popping off around San Francisco Bay Area, Alum Rock, and as well Evanel, California. Notable Canyon Dam earthquake, California as well. So heads up, something's brewing along the coast there. Japan seeing a seismicity off the coast. Pretty deep one, too, at the trench. 4.7 earthquake there, Indonesia. 4.4 earthquake, Ethiopia. And then we get to Greece, as this is just getting out of hand. Thousands of earthquakes the past two to three weeks. And this seismic swarm has all of a sudden shifted southward towards the Santorini volcano. This is a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Stromboli Volcano and as well Etna both being updated the last two days. Major eruptions there. Let's just have a look at the earthquake swarm that's occurring northeast of the Santorini Volcano. Complex stratovolcano. And just northeast is the Colombo Volcano, which is a submarine volcano. And then there's the earthquake swarm. This is showing the last 24 hours. There's the last 48 hours. So all the orange earthquakes were yesterday's earthquakes. As you can see, this swarm has dramatically moved southwest towards the Santorini volcano. So heads up to everyone in the region. Thousands of people have already been evacuated, and I'm sure thousands more have not even heard about what's happening. So please share this channel. Share the information here with daily events worldwide as we've got quite a situation that's developing in Greece. Is this a sign that the pole flip has begun? I guess we are soon to find out. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide and thank you so much for over 86,000 followers. Carrying on here for earthquakes around the world. Again, 230 earthquakes the past 24 hours. We're showing now the last seven days for shakers and movers. Largest earthquake being the 7.6 that hit Cayman Islands just a few days ago. And as well, we've got that situation in Greece, which has been rumbling and growing for the past few days. These are warning areas. As we've seen very deep earthquakes, Fiji. Watch the Kermadec Trench and up into the Northeast Pacific, the Wandapuka Plate. Much love, everybody. Living in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready. Now let's have a look at Kilauea as it has erupted yet again. This is now the ninth eruption since the day before Christmas. Yesterday it was completely quiet, but I could see a lot of red in the infrared on the surface of the caldera. And it erupted pretty much after last night's update. Having a look now at the air quality forecast, as you can see, heavy particulates coming out of Kilauea and as well through the Aleutian Islands and Mexico. But interesting, there's a huge low pressure system coming out of the Gulf right now and has whipped up all the SO2 and particulates coming from Mexico volcanoes over southeast and northeast United States. Air quality is not nice throughout those regions. Carrying on here around the rest of the world, no new eruptions or major sulfur particulates to report, but notable coming off the coast of Southeast Australia. And then here overlooking the Mediterranean, you can see big plumes coming out of the region of Mount Etna and Stromboli. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got that winter storm that is affecting Ontario. 
in parts of the United States. It's going to be whipping up into the Atlantic provinces. And then by Friday, another low pressure system comes in. And that will be affecting the same regions Saturday into Sunday. Watch for very wild weather with that system there. And then watch big high pressure ridge move in, drying things out in the long range. Not before another system races up the eastern seaboard. High pressure ridge builds in. And then watch for extreme weather. 23rd into the 24th. Racing right up the coast into Canada. Should be a wild and interesting week ahead for weather. Get your shovels out and stay warm, my friends and family. Multiple systems in the North Atlantic will be bringing waves of moisture towards Ireland and the United Kingdom, and as well as Spain, and a couple low-pressure systems are riding through the Mediterranean. Set to bring snow to higher elevations in parts of Central and Eastern Europe. We're looking Australia. You got that cyclone over northwest regions. We'll be making landfall over the next couple days. Watch for wild weather to be hanging around parts of most of northern Australia as multiple lows will be lingering. And here is a look at our polar vortex, our upper level winds right now. And this is a pretty odd shape for a polar vortex. Seems the forces at the North Pole are fighting some other forces. The pole shift, it's a real thing. Magnetic reversal is proving to be a real and possibly catastrophic thing. Upper level winds right now are quite hectic across the Northern Hemisphere. Winter 2025 which is set to be a long, cold, wet winter. Farmer's Almanac for 2025. Just wait. Solar Cycle 25 has just started, and we ain't seen nothing yet. So thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.